People who know the river well have seen the river change. Since the year 2000, we've seen five droughts strike the Flint River Basin. And in every one of those drought events, we see river flows go to severe low flow levels that are lower than any flows recorded during the droughts in the 20th century on the river. In recent years, water utilities, conservationists, and others have been working together to find ways to restore drought resilience to the river. With climate change, we know we'll have more droughts in the future. And so all these actions add up. They build on one another to restore the river system's own resilience to drought. That benefits communities throughout the area and the health of the river system itself. The Flint is a remarkable river. Despite its humble beginnings, it starts near the airport on the south side of Atlanta, flows southward throughout the length of Georgia, uh, through west central Georgia and into southwest Georgia. It meets the Chattahoochee River at the southwest corner of the state to form the Apalachicola, which flows to the Gulf of Mexico at Apalachicola Bay. In the upper reaches, it provides water supply to hundreds of thousands of people on the south side of metro Atlanta. And in southwest Georgia, it flows through the heart of the very productive farm belt in that area. 2007 was the second worst drought on record for the state of Georgia, and many of our communities were close to running out of water. If that wasn't true in Clayton County, the constructed wetlands behind me were a big piece of us being able to return 60 to 70 percent of the water we used every day. QE treatment wetlands are about 4,500 acres in size, and that's one of the largest treatment wetlands in the United States. And as far as I know, it's the only one that was intentionally built to recycle treated wastewater back to our water supply. So the wetlands receive treated wastewater from one of our wastewater treatment plants, then the water flows very slowly through the wetland system and the plants, the soil, and the microorganisms in that community all work to remove any impurities in the water before it's discharged to our reservoir. So the Huey Wetlands is one of my happy places. So when I was having a bad day at work, I'd get in the truck, drive down here, and that would help me remember what it was we were doing and how we did it and what a great place this was to work. The wetlands behind me are not generally open to the public, but you can arrange a tour with the Water Authority. And when I come out here with other people who haven't seen the site, it really gives me a lot of satisfaction to see the look on their face. And this place is sitting here right south of downtown Atlanta. It's just a beautiful environment and people can learn how the water cycle really works and they can see something different that they can't see in their own neighborhood. Clayton County sits on the subcontinental divide, so half the water flows into the Atlantic, half flows into the Gulf of Mexico, and Clayton County draws its water supply primarily from the Flint River on the Gulf side of the county. But this system, where we treat the wastewater and return it back to our surface waters is on the Atlantic side. So it flows in the Okmulgee River, not the Flint River. Clayton County Water Authority's constructed wetland system is a fantastic example of sustainable and resilient water infrastructure. It has a lot of environmental benefits, but it's had one notable exception, which is that the water in the wetlands comes from the Flint River, but most of it ends up in another river altogether, the Okmulgee Altamaha River system. Clayton County Water's decision to upgrade its treatment plant and take water from the wetland system and return it to the Flint River, where it came from, is a great step forward for the river and all the communities that depend on it. The new Casey Polishing Facility is an upgrade to our water treatment system, and it has been in the works for many years. It will allow us to return portions of the water that normally goes to the wetlands to the Flint. It will also give us the ability to return just as much water as we withdraw out of the Flint. This will improve drought resiliency and help our downstream neighbors. The good news also is that Clayton County water is not alone. Other water systems on the south side of Metro Atlanta have taken steps to restore resilience to the river for times of drought. It's been really gratifying for me to work with Clayton County Water and other water utilities throughout the Upper Basin in collaborative dialogue to work together to find these kinds of solutions. So the more we can do to restore resilience and restore the health of the river in the face of that change, the better off we'll be in the future.